from time immemorial, Africa, specifically Egypt, has been known as the birthplace of human civilization. Civilization can be described as a leading state of development in a society where there are systems of governance and laws, written language, and advanced ways of living and working. As part of Egyptian civilization, they created a mystery system that centered on the spiritual and intellectual development of an individual through the combination of science, arts, philosophy, and religion. In this mission, we shall take a look at what is referred to as the Egyptian mystery systems. In the olden days, ancient Egyptians came out with multiple spiritual systems, generally known as the mysteries. The main aim of these mystery systems was to teach students or individuals how to evolve spiritually, believe, and concentrate on their natural abilities while believing that there is only one supreme being in the world. In that manner, students or individuals can attain the greatest good. This greatest good is known as sumum bunum. Sumum bunum is a notion that mankind must aspire to attain because it advances our levels of being mere mortals to that of a god on earth. Students or individuals of the mystery system were thought to master spirituality, arts, sciences, mathematics, philosophy, and religion in order to become God on earth. Being God on earth means mastering the knowledge on earth in order to shape and bend the world in one's favor. For instance, individuals like Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, LeBron James, Abidi Pele, Muhammad Ali, Aliko Dangote, Michael Jordan, Bob Mali, and Tupac Amaru Shakur are amongst people who mastered knowledge on earth in their various fields and shaped the world in their reality. The Egyptian mystery system was also considered the first system of salvation. This is because it teaches that if an individual knows themselves, have an understanding of who they are, what they can do and what they cannot do, they have liberated the soul from the body. That is why man, know thyself, was one of the popular phrases among Kemite. The activities, teachings, and events of the Egyptian mystery system were hidden. To learn or be a member of this system, one had to be initiated and pledged to keep everything as a secret. The teaching was graded and delivered orally to the newcomer. According to history, Kemet, which is also known as ancient Egypt, dominated the world as a civilization for over 3,000 years. During this period of 5000 BCE to 332 BCE, Kemet was governed by a number of royal dynasties that had its dynamic culture and traditions. All of these periods were characterized with the development of art, engineering, agriculture and architecture, construction of burial sites for elite, invention of writing, building of the pyramids, a period of immense cultural and artistic works, and the development of the concept of math. This concept was seen as the idea of balance and harmony in the universe. When it comes to culture and traditions, Kemet was on top of the world with its diverse and rich characteristics. From the use of the hieroglyph, which is an earlier form of writing, to the use of musical instruments such as the lyre, the harp, and the flute, through the production of top literary works such as the Book of the Dead, and the use of music in all ceremonies showed how Kemet flourished in all spheres of life. Kemet believed in a lot of gods and goddesses, with the most important and revered one being Ra. Ra was considered the god of the sun and of creation. Ancient Egyptians also believed that Ra created the universe and every single thing in it. He is often described as a man with the head of a falcon wearing a sun disk and surrounded by a serpent. As part of Kemet's civilization, many Africans received education from the mystery school system. The process of education is nothing like we know today, which is a process of just acquiring knowledge. It was rather a transformation of the soul that was progressed from one stage to the next to make students or individuals become godlike. Kematic educators were the first students of natural phenomena. Unfortunately for Kemet, it got invaded due to lack of social cohesion. In 332 BCE, Kemet opened its doors for the Greeks for the purposes of education, but the Greeks conquered Kemet. The Romans then followed in and conquered Kemet in 
630 AD. By 640 AD, the Arabs also took over Kemet to lend their civilizations. In 525 BC, the Persians took over Egypt and the Battle of Pelusium. After the series of invasion of Kemet by these non-Africans, they discovered the Egyptian mystery system and schools and stole from all libraries while copying the cultural systems and the spiritual ideologies. All of the great philosophers you may have heard of are all students of the Egyptian mystery system. Aristotle, Plato, Pythagoras and Socrates who became gods on earth in the fields of art, science, mathematics and philosophy mastered the lessons of the Kemites. The only sad bit is that they failed to acknowledge or give credit to the intellectual greatness of Africa. It is no doubt then that the continent of Africa has made tremendous contribution to the world civilization. Consequently, all the praise given to the Greek philosophers and others should rather be given to the people of North Africa, particularly the true Egyptians who were blacks. It is difficult to state the exact date the Egyptian mystery system or school started because they were kept in secret. It can also be said that the mystery system or school is not necessarily a time or place in Kemet, but rather secret teachings passed down orally through priests and priestesses from generation to generation, from initiate and royals and encrypted into the temples, concealed and enshrined using symbolism and hieroglyph. However, evidence suggests that the mystery system became popular when Kemet was at her height of civilization. This was before the invasion of the Greeks, Persians, Arabs, Athenians and the Romans. This could date as far back as the Old Kingdom. The mystery system was definitely as a result of all the spiritual and religious relationship some Kemites had with the gods and goddesses. During this period, men were closer to the gods and the gods were closer to them. It was from the gods that mankind had received precise teachings, rules and doctrines and the answers to the greatest questions that mankind has ever since creation began to wonder. Who are we? Where do we come from? And where do we go after here? Any individual who was interested in the mystery system or school was taken through a process of initiation. A series of physical, emotional and mental challenges were assigned to an individual to determine his or her readiness and worthiness. The main aim of the initiation was to mark an individual's entry into the mystery system and their commitment to the path. There was the strong belief that certain spiritual truths can only be assessed through personal experience and that revealing them to those who are not ready could have negative consequences. The initiation was seen as a significant transition from being an outsider to an insider. The special knowledge to be impacted to the student or individual is known as Gnosis. Since the Gnosis was regarded valuable and sacred, it was forbidden to be revealed to the uninitiated, unprepared and unqualified individual. Because of this, individuals were expected to say solemn oath to protect the Gnosis. In the temple of Edfu, which is dedicated to the god Horus, an inscription states, Do not reveal in any way the rites you see in the temples and the most absolute mystery. The initiation process had stages with every stage having its own significance. One of these stages was known as the stage of lesser mysteries. This stage focused on the preparation and the purification of the individual. The use of symbols and rituals were also key to the initiation process. Symbols were used to convey messages to students or individuals. Rituals would often take place in sacred spaces such as the temples or the tombs and would involve the use of sacred objects, chant and invocations to the gods. In the Egyptian mystery school of Osiris, individuals were subjected to a symbolic death and rebirth, representing the journey of the soul through the afterlife. Meditation, contemplation, energy work, divination and alchemy were common practices, as were rites of passage and ceremonies that marked significant breakthroughs in the initiation process. The initiator, also known as a master, played an important role in the initiation process by guiding and impacting wisdom and knowledge to the initiate known as the student or the individual. On the whole, 
The initiation process was seen as the deep-seated experience that transformed the individual's understanding of themselves and the world at large through the use of symbols, ritual, and the guidance of a master or initiator. Individuals were able to gain a deep understanding of the mysteries of life and the universe to become spiritually evolved and become enlightened beings. The Egyptian mystery system employed the use of symbols and metaphors to convey hidden messages to students or individuals. The symbols held numerous layers of meaning, each uncovering deeper truths as the individual progressed through the spiritual journey. The ancient Egyptian mystery system and schools, in addition, applied hieroglyphs to hide the meanings of their teachings. The Eye of Horus is a widely known ancient Egyptian mystery symbol that is sometimes referred to as the Eye of Healing and Protection. Egyptian history has it that Horus was the god of the sky and had the head of a falcon. Horus had two eyes, both representing the sun and the moon until a fight with his uncle, Set, the god of the desert and conflict, left him with his right eye. But luckily for him, it was restored by Thot, the Egyptian god of wisdom and writing. It is the restored left eye that became the eye of Horus. It is believed to have supernatural powers that protect mankind against illness and injury while driving away evil spirits. It is also known to guide souls safely in their journey to the visible world after death had occurred. Today, the symbol is worn as an amulet by both men and women for protection and for good luck. According to ancient Egyptian history, Mat was a female goddess who represented justice, balance, truth, morality, and law. Mat means that which is straight. With the meaning of her name, one can tell that she is the personification of orderliness and representation of stability in the universe. She is often shown as a young beautiful woman wearing a feather on her head. The feather represents a symbol of truth, death, and justice. In Egyptian belief, the soul, after death, embarks on a journey to the underworld or to the invisible world where it will be judged by the god of the dead known as Osiris. During the process of judgment, the feather of Mat would be weighed against the heart of the deceased by using a scale. This act is meant to determine if the deceased is worthy of entering the underworld or the invisible world. In the event that the heart weighed more than the feather, it shows that the person had lived an unjust life and would not pass to enter the underworld. The ank represents immortality, fertility, and life. It represents eternal life and is known as the key of life. Some scholars relate the T of the lower parts of the cross with male sexual attribute, while the upper part, the handle of the cross with the uterus of the woman. This symbolizes the unity between both sexes and above all reproduction and therefore the cycle of life. It is called the key of life because it could unlock the gate to the underworld for those who are found worthy by Osiris. The Yank is identified as one of the symbols carried by a multitude of Egyptian gods in tomb paintings and inscriptions and worn by Egyptians as an amulet. Sassin is the Egyptian name of the lotus flower which is also referred to as the holy flower. The lotus flower was an important symbol in ancient Egyptian culture because of its association with rebirth and regeneration. The Egyptians believed that each morning the lotus flower emerges from the underworld representing the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. Lotus flower starts its existence by growing in mud and eventually blooming into a magnificent flower with lovely fragrance. The lotus flower's symbolism is rooted in its physical characteristics, symbolizing resurrection and new beginnings. Lotus flowers were depicted in the tomb paintings and hieroglyphs. Egyptians also offered the flower to the gods during religious ceremonies. Its seeds were used for food, while the stem and leaves were used to make medicine. The plant's oil was also used for perfumes and cosmetics. Virtue is a strong and positive character trait that is considered as a foundational requirement for living well and a key ingredient to greatness. Everyone's virtue is a personal asset, a shield to protect us from difficulty, trouble, 
and suffering. No two human beings are same. We all have certain qualities that are more naturally developed, distinguished as from others. However, certain virtues can be shaped and developed further with time. The Egyptian mystery system had 10 virtues that every individual had to possess in order to be worthy as an initiate. These are virtues that can help us in our daily lives. The top 10 virtues include the control of thought, the control of action, steadfastness of purpose, identity with the spiritual life or the higher ideals, evidence of having a mission in life, evidence of a call to spiritual orders, freedom from resentment when under the experience of persecution and wrong, confidence in the power of the master, confidence in one's own ability to learn, and readiness or preparedness of the ancient mysteries of Egypt. The ancient Egyptian mystery systems remain a captivating aspect of the world's earliest civilizations. By exploring the symbolism and nature associated with this system, we gain valuable insight into the spiritual and intellectual pursuits of ancient Egypt. The legacy of the mystery schools live on, casting influences on modern hidden traditions and inspiring plenty individuals to seek a deeper understanding of the mysteries of the universe and their place within it. Ultimately, the ancient Egyptian mystery systems remind us of the enduring human desire to connect with the Supreme Being and unlock the secrets of our existence. The influence of the mystery system can also be seen in various aspects of art, science, philosophy, literature, and culture, as well as in political and social movement.